Hi you guys, welcome back to my bi-weekly, uh, not bi-weekly, sorry, Venus Through the Sign series. This is for Venus and Gemini. Um, so if in your birth chart, your Venus is sitting in a sign, sign of Gemini, this is for you. If you do not know where your Venus is placed, you can pause this video, go to uh, a website such as astral.com, enter your uh, birth time, place and location, and it will generate a free birth chart for you. Uh, just look and see where Venus is placed. If it's sitting in Gemini, this is for you. You don't not have to know your exact birth time to know where your Venus is sitting. You can put 12 p.m. if you don't know what time you were born. However, if you do know what time you were born, um, this can also apply to your seventh house. Like if you have Gemini as your seventh house, uh, this would also apply to you as far as relationships with people and um, your lovers, partnerships. All right, so um, here we go. See what the energies are for the rest of this month here. Some of you, I see you are fighting change. There's a big change coming and you might be fighting it. Um, okay, and um, I'm showing the magician starting off with the heart of the situation so this is some sort of manifestation of something like you're trying to this is soul gemini energy um mercurian energy you you are working your magic uh, a lot of you might be uh literally doing some sort of spell work uh like you're into alchemy or um astrology or um an illusionist, uh, a performer, or an artist, or um, someone who knows how to work the crowd. Uh, also, this could be you and your element uh, as far as technology, like someone who works with software, uh, someone who uh, is a computer analyst or engineer or programmer or something of that sort. Um, but also, there is uh, manip manipulation is at hand, so someone might be putting a performance on for you, or this could be you. Someone is not really being their true self. This is also the card of someone being a con artist. So, you know, someone is just really good at making that sale or selling an image of themselves. Um, I don't know if you're involved with uh, an earth sign. It could be an earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They may be younger than you or they could be immature or maybe they're just someone that's in their 20s or younger. Um, I don't know if you are talking circles around this person. You're trying to get, get this person or this is them doing this to you. I almost feel like this is more so your energy though. Like you're in your element and you're trying to cause confusion to someone because someone I, I see the seven of cups is confusion too and also maybe trying to lure someone away so maybe they're not yet fully committed and you're like well there's no ring on your finger so you know as far as i'm concerned you are not off the market officially so this could be you trying to manipulate someone into to falling for you or someone is doing this to you and also for some of you like I said I might there may be literal spell work involved especially with this confusion this cloud of confusion uh, this is a, an illusion or someone that um, needs to take a step back because they're like why am I feeling this way you know like I'm confused like I love this person and I don't know why or do I really love this person is the love that I have for this person really real um, you know this is analyzing and trying to sort out your feelings um, because you might be being tempted as well so this is like also temptation um, and having some sort of secret fantasy. You might be fantasizing about someone or someone could be fantasizing about you. This is uh, having some sort of vision and trying to turn it into a reality. Uh, but like I said, there is a major shift coming your way and a major transit. 
I should have opened up my planetary calendar to see what major shifts are coming um, especially this week okay well I know Mercury and this uh, corresponds to Mercury is moving into the sign of Leo or has just moved in the sign of Leo um, this causing like some sort of major shift in your life whatever these changes are I feel like you're you're trying to fight against it you're like oh my god I, I knew this was coming and you're trying to resist change or you're you know it's like a challenge for you and I feel like you are trying to do some sort of meditating and you're trying to see something from a different perspective you might put someone on hold uh, for whatever reason or someone may have put you on hold but there is um, someone's being isolated and just kind of reflecting and thinking and also there's a possibility of someone uh, you know smoking someone who's a smoker or who uses um, natural or what, what do you call it organic drugs you know to get high such as marijuana things of the earth not so much alcohol for me anyway um, I mean that's what it means for me anyway someone who's more into marijuana or mushrooms or something um, I'm seeing like a lot of meditation here especially here is the four swords and a lot of holding someone there's some sort of change and it's like you want to think about it before you really act on it or something uh, I don't know maybe you feel like you're being manipulated like you don't trust this person there's something going on and you're just like everything is like on on break or on hold um, I, I feel like you're trying to prepare yourself for something or for someone for some of you you might already know someone that's coming into your life and you're trying to make preparations for it excuse me for some of you I feel like your mind is on a, a fire sign so a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries and you're really just kind of meditating or thinking about that person or trying to manifest make them come into your life some type of way Uh, the second week I feel like again there is more holding on to something there's something that you're holding on to you're not sharing something you're not sharing either your money your information your time you're like the time is valuable there's something that you're holding on to um, also I'm seeing like this waiting period also could be dealing with the Capricorn I feel like this this whatever it is is being held on to or you're holding on you're not giving up on you're not giving something up you're not giving out the goods something that you're whatever you're trying to hold on to is causing some sort of animosity or resentment um, because I'm seeing some sort of energy developing that is that negative energy where people are playing love games with each other so like neither party is speaking to one another both people are acting petty towards one one another because you know someone's not opening up or sharing something so someone gets offended or defensive and you know both people end up kind of walking away from the situation and you know it's like neither party is truly happy like it's like you're saying winning but are you really because you know are you do you really have the results that you want uh, but either way I just feel like some sort of hostile energy someone's holding out on something and you know it causes some sort of miscommunications and hurt feelings of, about something uh, also some sort of mind games are being played and uh, because Gemini is your element that might be you um, the page of wands here um, this is some sort of self-discovery as well or developing some sort of new passion or attraction um, to someone or something uh, also it could represent a, a Leo Sagittarius Aries um, and also some sort of younger energy here there also could be that both parties are behaving immaturely as well I see more defensive defenses growing 
and kind of getting detached getting ahead of yourself like you're saying you're getting ahead of yourself or someone's saying that to you but I feel like you're just kind of being blocked like you're protecting your feelings like you don't want your feelings hurt uh, even if someone is flirting with you you're like on a defense like no my mind is focused this way I don't I don't have time for games or I don't have time for someone that's just uh, after me for sex or I don't have time for that and I just kind of feel like you're determined like even though you feel like you're being pulled in two different directions you're ch challenging that energy and using it to pull you um, forward to whatever goals that you have set for yourself so I just kind of feel like you don't want anyone to get in the way of whatever you have become focused on like you have a goal and you're like nothing's getting in my way so you become cold and detached to uh, other people um, for some of you there is going you're gonna have to revisit some sort of situation that wasn't resolved properly either in a past life or something in the past whatever the case is this is um, something resurfacing so for some of you you have to take your car back into the shop because they didn't fix it right uh, my um, you know you got to take your car back to the shop basically and for some of you I feel like you are going to receive a call from someone or you yourself are making some sort of phone call or announcement something's being brought to the light uh, something is coming I don't know someone or someone might be coming out of the closet um, and it doesn't always have to be about sexuality but it's something that was being hidden is going to be made known is going to be revealed uh, you going for some of you you're gonna find out who your hidden enemies are like who like maybe you suspected that someone was doing something behind your back or you had like an enemy or somebody who wasn't really down for you a hater uh, this is my hater card as well so that you're gonna find out if someone was sabotaging something uh, like a relationship or your job you're gonna find out who that was Okay, and then that last week, again, we're dealing with a fire sign. This person is older, though, but I feel like they turn their back on you. Like, you're trying to make up or you're trying to apologize and you're putting all your energy in this person. And my advice would be to stop because they're not listening to you and you're just wasting all of your energy and trying to apologize. Uh, now, on the other flip side, this could be you and the energies that you're taking on. You're turning your back to this person and you're taking back your power. And you're taking control of a situation and they're like spending all their time trying to apologize and make up. Um, so that is also a possibility. And then for some of you, you're dealing with someone or you might uh, start a relationship with someone who is at a distance, someone who's far away uh, that seems like a dream for right now. You're wondering if it'll ever become a reality. So there's like this communication and it's only like through the internet and, um, you know, it's, it's kind of long distance or something or only you guys are only able to text and talk on the phone and stuff or talk through social media. Um, also, I do feel like you are trying to give back to the universe or you're putting other people before your needs and you know it's like you can't help it for some of you you're just like I this is just what I do and someone I do feel is going to be turned on by your humanitarianism or by your selfless acts I feel like someone's going to approach you and let you know like job well done or they are attracted to you it might be a little subtle they're not going to just go all out showing you how they feel about you but I feel like it's a little crush I feel like someone's developing a little crush on you or you them uh, because of someone who is so giving and you're just like oh my god I love how thoughtful they are you know they don't care about any um, they don't care about themselves they put other people before them and I just feel like that's something that you're really admiring um, 
but now some of y'all do feel that you're going to walk away from a situation or move on from a situation as well um, feeling like maybe you know this isn't what you were looking for or maybe this person isn't as spiritual as you want them to be or is some sort of quality that they're missing and you feel like I just need to let this go especially for those of you that have the crush on this person like someone that you have a crush on and have been putting all of your energy into I'm feeling like eventually you're going to let it go because they're not responding to your efforts um yeah uh, I, I'm also seeing like feeling like uh, someone's feeling misunderstood or abandoned at some point and someone's gonna give you something that you need like you're going to feel I feel like you're going you're emotionally you're going to go through something maybe be a little emotionally imbalanced and then I feel like um you get yourself back together at some point like someone's going to offer something to you either a word of advice or their uh, whatever it is that you find it valuable and I feel like this is going to help you get back on a right track um, and get back in alignment to whatever your focus was here because I'm feeling like at some point someone makes you get off course all right, so you guys, this has been a general reading. I uh, hope it did resonate. For private readings, you will email me to matt76 at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below, so make sure you click on it. You guys, make sure you're leaving your comments and liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, thank all of you for tuning in to me, and many blessings to you.